So I have a petition that I would like you to sign. And I'm begging you and urging you to sign it. The thing about this particular petition is that Bill McKibben wrote an article in support of it. And I wanted to, you know, to read to you about it, about this whole thing. This machine fights fascism, an air source heat pump being installed last September in a house built in the 1930s. You know, in Folkestone, UK, you know, like there's an install going on there in this, in the, in the, in the Bill McKibben article that was put in the Substack, you know, up on Substack as far as the site is concerned. And, you know, the opening preamble, you know, is just that it, it's amazing to watch people across the planet rallying to the defense of brave, brave Ukraine choirs singing outside Russian embassies, soccer teams refusing to play Russian teams. And it's been wonderful to watch governments rise to the occasion, shutting off airspace to Russian airplanes or kicking them off international banking protocols. All of it helps enormously in the moment, but little of it goes straight to the heart of Russia's power which, besides nuclear weapons, is almost entirely based on the, its production of gas and oil. Remember, 60% of its exports earnings are hydrocarbons. For decades, Europe has cowered for fear that Moscow would turn off the tap, but it need cower no longer. New technology, affordable and workable, means Europeans can heat their home with electricity instead of gas, and if we wanted to, we could, before next winter comes, help in this enormously, enormously in this tax. President Biden should immediately invoke the Defense Production Act to get American manufacturers to start producing electric heat pumps in quantity so that we can ship them to Europe where they can be installed in time to dramatically lessen Putin's power. The most recent estimates from Europe I've seen is that the, the current electric grid could handle 50 million heat pumps. We're not going to get that many over there in a year, but any large number hacks away at Putin's power. He's a thug and a bully, you know, who is trying to blackmail. You know, he's cut Finland off. He is not a respectable person. I and, mean, you know, it's kind of sickening to watch certain politicians here at home act like, you know, Mr. Putin is, you know, not the monster that he is and the ghoul that he actually is. Um, you know, he is a monster who is, is using the threat of freezing during the winter, you know, to bully people basically we can take his leverage away you know and when it comes to signing petitions what i would say about this whole thing is that everybody acts critical you know they act like oh that's just you know slacktivism and it is but petitions are important and they're important because of the fact that president biden is a, a democratic president right obviously, and using the Defense Production Act is likely to be a little bit controversial. You know, it, so by putting your name on this petition, you show that there's public support for it, even though it might be a little bit of a controversial proposal. And that makes the President Biden feel safer about going out and doing it. So, you know, your name on this petition can make a difference because it will make a Democratic president that would be reluctant to use the Defense Production Act in this whole thing feel a little bit safer in doing it. So you're providing cover for the president by signing it. So I adamantly urge you to sign.